In the first video in this series, I was talking about the basics of making power. I think some people were perhaps a little confused by why I was talking about airflow and not talking about fuel and ignition spark as though they were less important than airflow. Let's talk about that for a moment. In order to get maximum power, you need to optimize the air, the fuel and the spark. They must all be present in exactly the right quantities at exactly the right point in time to achieve maximum power. But in a naturally aspirated engine, so putting aside the turbochargers, the superchargers, the ram air and all that sort of stuff, the only thing drawing air into your engine is the suction from the piston going down. That suction is pulling down and it's trying to pull the air through the air filter, through all the constrictions in the intake system. So you will only get a fixed volume of air in your engine from a particular build. Then fuel and spark are supplementary. And what you're doing is you are then tuning the amount of fuel, the fuel delivery, the timing of the delivery and the timing of the spark to optimize the charge of oxygen in that fixed amount of air. No matter how much fuel you dump in there, no matter what you do with the timing, you will not burn more fuel than the oxygen in that air will allow. So, in order to maximize power, in order to improve power, you have to improve the amount of air that's able to get into the cylinder. It does assume that you've got a fuel delivery system that's actually capable of providing enough fuel to use that oxygen. I mean, if, if your fuel delivery system is unable to utilize the oxygen that's in your current build, clearly adding more air is not going to improve the situation. You're not going to get more power. But for most builds, adding more fuel is a relatively trivial exercise. If you've got a carburetor, typically you just put a bigger jet in. If you've got an injected system, you put a bigger injector in. It's relatively trivial changes. I'm not saying not expensive, but they're relatively trivial changes in terms of an engine build. To get more air in actually means changing structural elements of the engine which you don't need to do by tweaking around with external systems which is the fuel and spark supply so that's just to very simply put it is why the starting point for more power is air in the next video i think i am going to be talking a little bit more about exhausts because that typically is where people start so i will see you about that one soon